Hi, my name is Anita Wallace. And I'm chair of the Lymphedema Support Network. And I'm delighted to introduce you to someone that I've worked with for scarily nearly 20 years, uh, Professor Peter Mortimer. He's the LSN's chief medical advisor and leading lymphedema specialist both here in the UK and overseas. Um, well, the next question is, is quite a big one, really. Um, why is there no prospect of a cure, Peter? Well, I would argue there is always a prospect of a cure. Um, we haven't got one at the moment, but there is every possibility we could um, find a cure. I think it's important to point out that a cure implies that you've corrected the fault that's caused the disease or the problem. And you must remember that lymphedema has lots of different causes. So for example, in our work in genetic forms of lymphedema, there may be many different mechanisms or reasons for the lymphedema as determined by the gene fault. For example, uh, there may be too few lymph vessels, so the cure there would be to grow more lymph vessels. Uh, lymph vessels have valves in them to make sure the lymph goes in the wrong dire right direction. And if the valves are genetically faulty, the lymph goes all over the place. If we could replace the valves, we'd have a cure. Um, lymphatics pump. Uh, unlike blood vessels, lymphatics actually pump and pump lymph up a leg. Well, that pumping mechanism is probably faulty quite often. The difficulty is we have no easy means of looking at the pumping in humans and knowing when it's wrong and what factors uh, might improve it. So, so a cure is gonna de be dependent on making sure we understand what the causes are of the lymphedema what the mechanism is, what can be corrected. And I think uh, genetic research in the future will actually provide some of those cures, but I accept not at the moment. The other thing I'd like to say, of course, is very few people around the world undertake lymphatic research. If we had the money and the interest that we had with AIDS, I think we might well have a few cures by now, but unfortunately, uh, lymphedema doesn't quite capture the imagination of the research community uh, like a disease such as AIDS did. Thank you. Clearly it's a very complicated topic. Yes. 